Hey guys, it's Josh again from IB Tutorials here to do a quick review on the, uh, the basics of the calculus in the IB program. Um, I'm just going to be going through the chain rule, product rule, and the quotient rule like quickly. And uh, this is uh, again, it's more of a review than a tutorial. So I'm, I'm assuming that you have gone through this before and that you do know the basics of differentiation, such as the ones that are here which are actually in the data booklet so you don't have to remember them alright so let's start with the chain rule alright so what is the chain rule first of all if y is a function of u and u is a function of x then dy dx equals dy du times du dx alright so I'll be doing an example right now if you, in case you don't remember how to use this little formula here so don't worry I'll go through step by step to see how you actually use this so here we go example question y equals x plus 2 to the power 4 alright the first thing we want to do here is we're gonna let u equal x plus 2. Alright, we let u equals x plus 2. So we actually end up with y equals u to the power of 4. And over here we get u equals x plus 2. Now what you all you have to do now is differentiate these separately. So this is going to be your d dy du and this is going to be your du dx. Alright, so let's start with uh, dy du first. And for this one, what you have to do is uh, actually use this rule over here. x to the power of n is nx uh, to the power of n minus 1. So from that, we can see that dy dx equals 4 times u 4 minus 1. So dy dx is just 4u to the power of 3. Alright, so now we got our dy dx. Next, we'll differentiate our u over here get to get the du dx. So, this one is actually very simple. So, it's just going to be du dx equals 1. So, now that we have our dy dx and du dx, we can just simply use this. Uh, sorry this formula here to find dy dx so it just says that dy du times du dx equals dy dx so basically dy dx sorry over here it should be u equals 4u to the power of 3 times 1 so our answer is dy dx equals 4u to the power of 3. So now once you get to this stop, this this part here, uh, all you have to do now is plug back the u, which was x plus 2. So our final answer is dy dx equals 4 x plus 2 to the power of 3. Alright, so that's basically how you do uh, the chain rule and how you use this formula which is actually given in the data booklet. Alright, now let's go through the product rule. Alright, product rule. First off, the product rule is if y equals uv, where u and v are both functions of x, then dy dx equals u times dv dx plus v times du dx. Alright? Once again, if you don't remember, don't worry, I'm doing another example, so just hold on. Alright? So, the first step for this one is you let u equals x squared and you let v equals 
this other part of the function. Alright? So now you have to differentiate these separately, alright? We'll, we'll do the u side first. So for this one, once again, we just use this rule. So you get du dx equals 2x, 2 minus 1, so du dx equals 2x. Alright, that's pretty easy. Now let's differentiate this side over here to get the dv dx. For actually, for this one over here, we're going to have to use a chain rule. So we let, we're going to call this one. Okay, we'll just call it U, but it's, some, it's sometimes it's good to use the, another letter so to not confuse with the U on this side, so just keep that in mind, all right? Let U equals X plus 2, so you get V equals U to the power of 3, and then you get these two equations on this side, so you differentiate this one to get 3u to the power of 2 and then you differentiate this one to get 1 so now you just once again using the chain rule we get that dv dx is equal to this times this, so it's just three to the power two three u to the power of two. So our final answer is th final answer is three x plus two squared. All right, so now that we got our dv dx and du dx and our u and v, now we just basically have to plug it in this formula from the product rule. So dy dx equals this. So Essentially, dy dx equals u times du dv dx, alright? So that is, our u is x to the power of 2, so x to the power of 2 times the dv dx. Which is um, this one right here. So we plug it in brackets x plus 2 squared. I'm running out of room here, so I'm a bit sorry. So that plus v times du dx. So our v is x plus 2 bracket to the power of 3 so it's going to be this times the derivative of what we got from u so it's going to be, sorry I'm going to put it down here it's going to be x plus 2 power of 3 times 2x leaving you with the final answer of dy dx equals 3x squared x plus 2 squared plus 2x x plus 2 cubed so that's your final answer for this example. You can actually factor it down even more, but I'm not going to do that in this video. All right. Uh, but for the IB, uh, it's always, you, have, you have to factor this and simplify it even more for the final answer. All right, so the final rule we're going to go through is the quotient rule. And I actually picked a very easy example here, but a good one. Um, so what is the quotient rule? The quotient rule says that if y equals u 
over v, where u and v are functions of x, then dy dx equals v times du dx minus u times dv dx equals v squared, all right? This, uh, this is the most confusing formula, and uh, people always find this, for, find this formula confusing, but uh, as long as you just do the steps correctly, it, and uh, it's, it's very simple, so I'll do the example here to show you. Um, all right, so we saw that. First, you have to have a fraction, so y equals uv, so basically, this equals u, and that equals v. So we're saying that we're let we're letting u equal 3x plus 2, and we're letting v equals 2x plus 1. All right. So now, once again, like the other two rules, we're gonna differentiate these separately. I like to do these uh, separate them like this on the page to make it easier to uh, follow the steps and later plug it in the formula. This formula right here. So. Let's just differentiate these separately first. So over here, du dx, we actually get uh, equals 3. And then you have dv dx, that equals 2. So actually, we're almost done here. And all we have to do now is plug it into this formula. So v, which here is 2x plus 1, let's plug it in dy dx equals 2x plus 1 times du dx. du dx was 3, so we multiply by 3, minus u. Our u from this question was 3x plus 2, so we just simply plug it in. 3x plus 2 multiplied by dv dx, which was 2. Alright, and all this is divided by v squared. So we just simply, our v was 2x plus 1, so all we have to do is square that. So it's 2x plus 1 squared. Alright, if you open these brackets up, you end up with uh, 6x plus 3 minus 6x plus 4 over 2x plus 1 squared and then uh, you can see here 6 cancels out and you get 3 minus 4 1 so your final answer is dy dx equals minus 1 over 2x plus 1 Square. All right, guys. So that was just a quick review of the th chain rule, product rule, and the quotient rule. Um, and now, stay tuned for the next video where I will be doing uh, just a few IB questions and just going through them. So just stay tuned for that. And peace out.